Carlos, I'm on my way for the baby shower. It's supposed to start by one. It's actually 30 minutes past one. I'm always late because I'm always busy today. I did laundry, I arranged the house, cleaned the house basically. So I'm about to go there. I don't know the place, it's like 15 minutes drive. So I'll be there basically 30 minutes late. <laughs> Let me be going, I beg, I don't have time. That's when you're going out, you just scatter everywhere. Then when you come back, you'll be like, Oh, where I start from. That's how I am. And I'm tired. I'm having a nasty headache. Yesterday we went out for dinner with my mom and I had I don't know what's some of that cocktail I had. I can't remember. The first um glass they gave me, excuse me, was like it didn't have alcohol. I wanted a little bit of alcohol so that I would sleep well yesterday. Then I asked for a second one, I couldn't finish the second one, and then only for me to get home. And I slept, I really slept, I slept very well to be honest. Then this morning I woke up with a banging headache. I still have the headache and I'm like, is it worth it? I think I'll stop taking alcohol to be honest because I don't like how I feel whenever I have, whenever I take alcohol. The after effect, I don't like it. I feel like it's not worth it. It just makes my day, makes me miserable the whole day and everything. Anyway, so... Hope you have traveled again. Um, by the time I upload this video, maybe he'll be back because I'm taking my time. I'm really busy, guys, so bear with me if I'm not as consistent because I'm doing a whole lot, a whole lot. Next week, I'm going to do a day in my life video. I want to show you guys what it looks like and how I cope and what I do when Hobby is not around. So Hobby has traveled today and he'll be away for a whole week. So I'll be the only one with the kids, even though my mom is around, but there's a limit to what she can do. In terms of taking the kids to school and bringing them back home and getting them ready, like showering them and everything. I don't want her to be showering them because... I don't want to stress her too much so she helps me with their breakfast and also I don't want to relax too much because she won't be here forever so I, so I don't get used to it. The plan for next week is I'm going to show you guys a day in my life as a single parent in the UK. So I want to show you guys that for people that are planning to come to the UK alone without their spouse and they're coming with their children, it is not easy. <laughs> Guys, it is not easy. Do you know how many times I have contemplated going back to Nigeria? Even though I have my spouse here, it is not easy. It is not beans. It is not beans. It is not beans. So <laughs> they will not tell you, but me, I will tell you. UK is hard. Not even UK abroad. It is not easy to be here. <laughs> So today I went for the baby shower, I had some fun, I met people. I've actually met someone that <laughs> answers my name. Her name is China Zom as well. Because my name is China Zom, but people call me Nazi and they call her China. So when I heard China, I'm like, China, that sounds like my name. What's the complete name? Is it China Za? Or because most times it's Chinyere, Chi, Chi de Ma. China! I've never heard China. When it's China, it has to be China or some. Like, I've not heard of China or... I don't know. I just knew it was my name. I was like, how... What's your name? She said China. I was like, what's your full name? She's like, China or so. I was like... <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> and then we hugged and everything. She's from Anambra State. And I met a lot of people today, which is very amazing. To be honest, then, this UK is somewhere that you have to be deliberate to go out. Because... It's easy for you to be like, I beg, I'm tired, I want to rest. Because me, I'm like that. Any single moment or second extra I have, I just want to lay in bed and do absolutely nothing because I'm always busy. I always have a chore to do. Now I'm working like full time. It's hard. It's hard, guys. It's really, really hard. I'm trying so hard to put out content, be a mom be a wife be myself be an employee run my business it is not easy but god has been faithful I tend to be happy and i tend to be positive and i tend to be you know just grateful look at see let me tell you something if you see clothes hanging on the wardrobe door 
Don't judge me because this this life I can't keep myself. Do you understand? My room is in a mess. I have not arranged this room and it's Sunday evening. See, I'm just lie down and sleep. But I can't even sleep because I have tons of things to do. So right now I'm upstairs. I want to get the kids uniform ready. I brought them up. I washed them. I'm still having a headache from yesterday. Um, I washed their uniform. I did laundry yesterday morning. So they're all dried. So I want to basically iron the uniform. I want to show you guys how I'm going to do everything. I own the uniform, put everything together for each day. So every single day when Hub Hobby travels, we put them in breakfast club and rising stars. Your school actually um provides um these options for parents that work. So we actually leave the house by 7:50 to get to school by 8 and then I get to the office by 8, 8 20 there, thereabouts. Then I pick them up around 5 30. I leave the office by 5. I get to their club by 5 20. Come back by 5 45. I'm going to be ironing the uniform in, in Cherry Car's room. That's where we have the ironing table. So I'm going to just unravel the ironing table and quickly iron the uniform. So go down and we'll prep. What I'll take to work tomorrow. I try to make my lunch just to eat healthy. Let me tell you something. If you're planning to come to the UK, you have to be strong. Like you have to be positive. Just have an open mind because anything can happen. Especially when you're coming without your spouse and you're coming with children. It is not easy. It is not easy. The stress. In fact, I want to start doing yoga. Like I need something to make my mind relax because i'm always agitated i'm always nervous i'm always thinking of things to do things i've not done is making me go insane it's crazy i have my mug of lemon tea here we went out today and had creamy pasta which had cheese in it and i'll take my tummy is happy about it because it's really really paining me it's hurting me badly Sorry, I have my spoon in, so I don't know whether it's right to have a spoon inside your tea or remove it. But however, tea is tea. And I love my mug. It says mommy. Best mommy ever. I'll wake up. Yeah. Just um arranged their clothes, arranged my own clothes, arranged my room, put the clothes um away, all the clothes I washed, the ones that are dried. There's still some that's still spread here. I put them inside just in case rain falls. There's one on the door there, no space on the clothes rack. Right now I want to make my lunch. It's already um nine. 9.40, I'm supposed to be in bed. But I want to grill fish, salmon fish and sweet potato. Um, my mom made stew, I'll just take some stew. I wanted to make veggie stir fry, but there's no time. I need to be in bed by 10 later, so I'm trying to hurry. So I want to just pack everything I need for work tomorrow. I'm just going to use my air fryer. It's going to take less than 15 minutes for it to be ready. Just go to the store and get the sea potato I bought. Oh, so, so, so. 
so 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 small. And that's a pack of sweet potatoes. I usually like the Niger sweet potatoes, not this one. This one is not that sweet. I was not able to go to the African store. That's where they sell the Niger sweet potato. I don't know whether it's Niger sweet potato, but the white one to get the white one. for the night i've showered brushed my teeth i'm about to sleep what's the time the time is 10 23 so let me just tell you guys what's gonna happen tomorrow because most times in the morning i'm very grumpy and angry normally it takes me like 30 minutes to dress up 30 minutes to get the kids ready for school I like to shower them and dress them up and it takes me like 15 minutes to shower and to the rest that's one one hour 15 minutes right so i plan to leave the house by 7 50 to get to the school by 8 so that i can leave by 8 and go to work so the plan for this week is that i'm going to wake up by 6 15 i'm going to set my alarm for 6 and i'm going to snooze to 6 15 wake up by 6 15 by 6 30 i'm showered and everything after showering i'll just go out with the kids Get them ready shower them brush their teeth and everything so it takes me about 30 minutes so if i wake them up by 6 30 by 7 they're ready to go down now grandma my mom is going to take them down give them breakfast while i go back into my bedroom to get ready for work i need to sleep so that i'll be energetic tomorrow i didn't have time to do my nails i can't believe i'm going back to work like this <laughs> guys i'm tired i'm tired I had to add that. I need to force myself to sleep. I really need to force myself to sleep. For some days, I've not been sleeping well. I don't know why. I've been having anxiety and I need to relax. I need to start doing yoga. You know, things that will make my mind relax. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.